Hi Aries, it's Leonore. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Um, thank you for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, Aries, this is going to be your Q&A love reading, okay, uh, for the month of August or for whenever you see it. Honestly, my readings are all timeless. Um, the extension to this video, by the way, will be on Patreon, so that link will be in the description box, okay? All right, now, my singles, for those who are single or in between relationships, it doesn't matter. Um, look out for the singles love reading, okay? The singles love reading will be out in August as well. Um, I like to do my singles love reading, um, like it's a bi-monthly, bi-monthly love reading for my singles. So for September and October, singles love reading for the next two months. So look out for that. Um, lastly, follow me on TikTok and Instagram for your nightly oracle messages. Um, if you don't have TikTok, you can follow me on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, you can follow me on TikTok. I have both platforms, um, and both those flat platforms, I um, do nightly oracle messages there, okay? Let's get started, Aries. All right, um, in these Q&A love readings, I ask three questions. One, how are they feeling about you? Two, what's blocking them from a union or a commitment? Three, are they in another relationship? Now, if that question was already answered in the first two questions, I'll ask how would they feel if you and them were together? Let's get started. All right, one, how are they feeling about you? All right, so in these Q and A's, I always like to invite my cross watchers. Hi, cross watchers wouldn't be a show without you. It just, just would not be a show without you. <laughs> I don't know why I had to say that. All right. Um, it wouldn't be a show without any cross watches. All right. Um, so how are they feeling about you? Um, I feel like you taught this person. Um, hmm. I don't know why I want to say the art of self-love. It's weird. Who says? Okay, so um, I don't know if some of you may be mentors or teachers or, or you're dealing with someone who's a mentor or teacher of some sort, maybe a, a, a coach of some sort, you know what I mean? Like a life coach. Um, Whoever you were with or whoever you're with, um, you've taught them the art of self-loving. I, I, I don't know why I have to say it like that. I, I Let me know if that makes sense to you. <laughs> is there such a thing as the art? It, I mean, it is an art. Um, for someone like me, I, I the art of anything is amazing. Um, but nevertheless, um, with the self-love and teaching, I do pick up those two energies. Um, but okay, moving on <sighs> this person, you've healed this person. Wow. Aries, there's something about you, whoever you are dealing with or whoever you're thinking about, you've healed this person. Um, some of you are like, I don't know if I healed them. They still act in the same way. I could tell from the next two cards that I'm about to get into that you're probably questioning yourself like did I did I did they even walk away with learning anything from me um was that you know all in vain I'm letting you know no it was not all in vain okay um you may be dealing with a Sagittarius or um someone with a strong water placement Cancer Pisces Scorpio But I don't know, like the way they're feeling about you with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Um, I'm getting to two stories. So for a group of you, this person just likes to um, share their love with other people. Um, you know, this could be triggering for, for, for a lot of people, you know, like you know, monog mono monogamous relationships are very important to a lot of people, correct? 
um, this person believes that um, they shouldn't be just stuck with one person. This person believes in 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 being in relationships, um, whether they're platonic or not. They just they just like being in relationships um, because I'm sensing they do learn a lot um, from you know other people. Do you know like there's people that just love socializing and being in some type of relationship because they like to learn from that person um, and sometimes you just learn something about yourself being in a relationship maybe you didn't learn anything from that person but you know what you learn something about yourself being with that person so in the end you still learning you're still getting lessons um, you know from being in a relationship and this person realizes that like this person's like you know i i don't they don't want to be they, this person does not like to be constricted to one relationship so um that's what i'm getting for the first question um i know the question is like well how are they feeling about me leonore i mean i'll get more i just started the reading so i know i'll get more of a detailed message with it but um Anyway, I hope that made sense. I know that they respect you, you know. Um, I do see that this person does respect you. I do see that this person feels that you've healed them in some shape, form, or other. I don't know. But you have healed them here with the temperance card. You know, vice versa if it's vice versa. You would know that story more than me. How did you heal them? They do feel different about the way they're thinking. I just feel honestly like with a lot of you, you're like, I, I, did this person learn anything from my advice or, you know, the many, you know, um, uh, teachings, if I'm, you know, or teachings or um, experience that I've, that I've shared with them they did um i just feel like you're dealing either with someone that's younger than you aries you know or less experienced in life so that's really the problem more than anything all right moving on to what's blocking them from a union or a commitment what's blocking them from a union or a commitment i don't know why i'm being so silly what the hell um somebody here likes to be silly because i'm picking I'm, I'm i could be silly i could be silly but someone here i'm channeling someone's energy here all right um <laughs> see so what's blocking them from a union or a commitment is um wow two things again could be both one they're not happy with themselves um, I I don't know how. Maybe they have low self esteem, um, low confidence. Maybe they don't feel good about their appearance, or you know, the money they make, or where they live, or I, I don't know. Um, maybe their um, their status um, with the nine of cups and the six of pentacles here. Um, wow, that, that could be a huge, you know, factor um, when someone is in this mind frame, you know, like they sabotage their, they, they're sabotaging maybe a, a really good relationship with you because they think this way. Um, I'm sure there's, you know, reasons why they feel this way, but that's a big, that's a biggie. Um, you know, as far as what's blocking them from a union or a commitment. Um, some of you may have Aquarius in your chart. Capricorns, again, I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing Capricorn. I'm also seeing, um, I don't know, Sagittarius is pretty big here. I don't know why. There's somebody that has the energy of a Sagittarius, you know, like that spiritual teacher. Um, but it doesn't have to be those signs. Um, 
<sighs> Somebody here is in the limelight. That could be another reason why um, someone here is being blocked by a union or a commitment. With the star card here, like somebody is in the limelight or they're just very popular or they have high, high following, something like that. And uh, that could in turn can make someone feel insecure. Um, that could be a factor. All right. Um, also, some I see children. So children, not for all of you, but I see ch uh, either a child or children, especially young ones, may also be a factor in what's blocking this um, union or commitment. But then I see the devil. Hmm. Interesting. You know, you're dealing with someone who who needs to be told what to do. And I hate to say it that way. Um, but there's an energy here who needs direction. Which is very interesting because the first thing that came out in the first question was you teaching this person, you know, um, either, you know, and I don't know, that could have been in so many different topics, but, you know, if it's spiritual, if it was spiritual, if it was, you know, um, self-care, um, self-love, um, then, then it was that. Um, if it was other types of teachings, then there was other types of teachings. Um, but... You know, this person needs to be told what to do. So what do I mean by that? It's like, you know, it's a codependent energy. Um, it just reminds me of a codependent energy with the double card here. Hmm. Yeah, there's a few things that's blocking um, this relationship. Um, that, that was a lot of messages there. There was like, a, what, at least two, three energies there. But you take it as it resonate, Aries. I'm sure it's not all of the above. It could be maybe one or two. All right. Um, last question. Are they in another relationship? Are they in another relationship? Okay, that's a lot of energy. Um, you may be dealing with another Aries. Um, I also see Scorpio. Um, again, Cancer, Pisces, Pi Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, water sign. All right. Um, are they in another relationship? Ooh. Ooh. All right, for some of you, um, this person is still dealing with um, the parent of their child or their children heavily. Like they're still involved with this person heavily. Now, it's because um, either your person still has feelings for the ex. And I don't, I don't see it's an ex situation, honestly. If it is, it is. You would know that story more than me. I don't know who you're dealing with, Aries. Are you dealing with somebody that's already in a relationship, um, you know, with um, their parent of their child or children? Um, maybe for one or two of you, it's a marriage. It's still a marriage um, with the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. But, you know, it's still very, like, it's so strong. Whoever they're dealing with, whether it's you or this person, you know, I'm, I'm sensing that um, they're very much in their energy. Um, wow. So that could be another thing that's blocking them from a union or a commitment. Wow. That's a lot of blocking from a union or a commitment. I don't think I've ever got that many energies in, the, in one love raid here. And like somebody still is, 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 um, trying to work this relationship out whether it's because they share children in common and they need to work the relationship out because they're co-parenting or they're in a marriage and the marriage hasn't really fizzled for some of you you're like well i 
they said they separated from this person in some shape, form, or other. No, there's someone here still in love with the other person. And they're not going anywhere. And this is going to be a freaking reality check for some of you. Um, with the tower here. This is a reality check. Um, if I don't see one. Um, especially in your reading. This is crazy. Like, you know, even like with the devil, like when I see the devil and the and the tower here together, you're you're dealing with someone here who's unstable. Um, either emotionally, mentally, I had mentioned something about codependency. Um Someone here got a reality check. Could be both of you. Could be you, Aries. Um, all right. So the question is still: Are there still others? St uh, are they in another relationship? Right. I just feel for the rest of you, if the marriage situation doesn't apply or a living situation or situationship period doesn't apply um, and, and you're asking if they're in another relationship, this person, someone here is still thinking about an ex. So either your person is still thinking about an ex um, or the ex is still thinking about your person with the hangman and the king of cups in reverse aries um again with the king of cups here i do send someone here was in a like a very um serious relationship um again I, it still applies whether you have children or not it still applies whether you're married to this person or they're married to this person or not all right aries i don't I don't know why I feel I should tell you. Maybe you should look at the Capricorn. Was it the Capricorn? Oh, God. Now I can't remember. Yeah, it was. Um, if you have Capricorn in your chart, like strong Capricorn in your chart, or they have strong Capricorn in your chart, you may want to look at the Capricorn. Um, and I, I know because I just did Capricorn um, <laughs> within the last 12, 15 hours. So it's still freshly on my mind. And it was the last reading I did. Um, so I don't know why I feel like I'm inclined to tell you that. Um, you may want to look at this. You know, I mean, I do have the devil card here. <laughs> but um, I I don't know. That's if this person has Capricorn in their chart. Um, strong, strong 10th house placement. You know what I mean? So they may that you may resonate with that. Um, it's not the exact reading but it, it, it is a remnant of that that energy that i picked up for capricorns um, but we're going to go into the extended if you want to join me there um you know the link will be there in the description box you could also see the bonus question that i will be asking all right so once you get to patreon you'll know that um you know the in the patreon i'll have the extended letter sorry the um channel letter plus the bonus question um just so you know for 11 11 a month you do have access to all 12 zodiac signs um the extended videos for all 12 zodiac signs signs plus other content that i have there um that's exclusive to patreon okay all right um if you need a private reading capricorns oh my god I'm so sorry, Aries. Aries, if you need a private reading, Aries, <laughs> just email me. Um, my email is in the description box. Love you. Bye.